Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrade.com nightly wrap-up show. So here's how crazy this day was. So number one, we had the Fed. Okay, so you, you thought the day, you know, t yesterday I, I felt <clears throat> going to today's session, we're probably going to get some value, right? Probably going to get some value. It started out the same way at morning strategy. And then I felt the market was probably going to go into hiatus waiting for the Fed. And I kind of want to start with the Fed, uh, quarter basis point, okay? Uh, they might do another uh, quarter basis point. Again, maybe if, maybe if, maybe if. And again, nobody knew kind of what to expect with the market. And again, if you look at the NASDAQ 100, and again, this is how really, really strong the bulls are, okay? You could clearly tell how the market keeps on embracing the cues, the NASDAQ 100, or just overall uh, everything in the market on buying very, very strong dips. The problem is... When your stock is broken, and we'll talk about that in a second, when your stock is broken, they are really taking stocks to the woodshed, like very, very aggressively. And the most important part of what we saw today, if you traded intraday and you looked, for example, on an Amazon or Roku or, uh, or uh, Netflix, okay, you would have thought this was like the end of the world. And then you looked in the middle of the day with Beyond, you would think the NASDAQ 100 was down like 150 points. And the reality was the NASDAQ 100 was flat, pretty much, pretty much flat as the Qs uh, down eight cents of the day, which is nothing. And you could clearly see what's gonna happen next, right? You can see here, 162, 192.60 uh, was the high from yesterday. 192.60 was the high from today. Da, 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 da. This is how close we are to catching the next leg up. But more important, you know, more important what the Fed day, what the Fed did, it, it, it really is amazing what happens, okay, when a stock gets punished, okay, or when you have your mind set on what a stock potentially could do, and then it overshoots that expectations probably by 20, 30 times. So here's how quickly the day really turned, okay? Here's the day I really turned. Um, yesterday before the close, uh, we had a nice move on Netflix uh, yesterday before the close, and Wesley asked, "Hey Dan, are you, are you keeping this overnight?" And I'm like, "No, I'm not in this market. I'm just a little, you know, I'm a little chicken. I'm just a little chicken. Anything could come out." I wasn't thinking of the news that hit today. I was thinking more of, "Well, China could come out. We could be down 300 points, and the stock could be down." I, I just don't need that in my life. I didn't think for a second when I saw the news today that this was going to open up a floodgates not only for Roku but Netflix as well. And when we woke up this morning, okay, you saw a headline that Comcast was offering, uh, let me see the headline exactly what their words were. Comcast and Facebook, Facebook is going to start their own streaming service as well. They're getting into this competitive space. Now in that space is Amazon, uh, Netflix, Amazon, the Apple TV, right? Apple TV as well. So this is a crowded space. But if you look at how stocks reacted, and even when Apple entered the space, you know, you get a move down three, four points, Netflix, blah, 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 start rallying back up and everything's all good. Roku, again, it's an afterthought. Maybe it goes down two, three dollars, again, rebound, rally back again. Look how strong the tape is. And the problem was today, nobody saw, literally, nobody saw the aftermath of what this news brought, okay? Um, and the question was, and you, again, you can see exactly what happened to Roku here. Right. This is I mean, this is a huge move down. I mean, absolute move down. And there was a question the gentleman on our private feed asked, hey, Dan, any reason why you avoided Roku today on the feed? Right. Seems that there was a nice, nice bill below 42.50, 40, even 137.50. Thanks. Right. It's a great question. Absolutely great question. And the follow up question was when you look at I actually answered the question. Well, I didn't answer the question, but I kind of used an example. Um, let me just kind of get this right here. Um, I wrote back, I wrote back here. Let me see, let me see here. I wrote back here. Uh, I want to give you guys just a quickly, where was it here? Here, yeah, because I got the same, I, I got the same thing again from another, another gentleman on the feed. Can you explain, you know, what was, you know, what was the whole purpose on it? And here's the deal, right? Here's the deal. Um, 
when Roku opened down today, okay, it was basically the theory I was thinking when I just started this little monologue that I thought the stock was going to be down three, four points, right? Trap people somewhere down here, right? Trap people somewhere down here and rally, okay? And when you started seeing the aggressive nature of Roku, it started breaking down, I would say roughly around nine o'clock in the morning, right? Nine o'clock in the morning. And it put in an initial low of 137.40. So that's why when the gentleman asked me, well, it seemed that 137.50, right? 137.50, where did he ask me? Uh, I think the gentleman that just saw it before. He asked me, well, wasn't 137.50 viable? Yes, it was. Okay, yes, it was. Now, keep this in mind. I felt the stock was going to bounce down three, right? Down three. By the time it got down here, it was down a nine or 10 points, okay? Nine or 10 points on $130 stock, $140, is ridiculous, right? It's absolutely ridiculous because again, everybody's getting into the space. It's not like this new announcement that Roku is the only one in the space and then everybody is just jumping in. No, so it was incredibly weird to me, to, you know, and not even weird. It was, it was impossible for me to mentally think that this shorting Roku down ten eleven dollars pre-market okay was even in the thought of common sense okay so when the stock started going down at the open it just didn't give us an entry guys and if it did again look, forget about the fact that the stock was down twenty dollars twenty one dollars raise your hand who would short netflix uh roku opening range down 12 13 points right guys in a bull market right raise your hand and that's exactly, and that's the absolute only reason, uh, that is the absolute only reason why I didn't put it on the feed. I didn't want to get anybody into a situation that it traps you and then goes back three, four dollars on, on, on one channel that you can't even react fast enough. That was the absolute reason. And, and then I put, tweeted out something, and then I want to show you guys this. And then I tweeted out something. I said, well, 89.75 area will now become huge going forward. Any aggressive build below can pull could potentially pull a Roku. Now, why was I able to put in a feed, right? Put in into the Twitter feed. Uh, I think I think uh, at that point, I think at that point, Netflix was down. I think Netflix was down like, I think it was only down like five or six. So there's a big difference, right? There's a big difference of shorting Netflix down six and getting pulled down by the same news than shorting Roku down 12 before even the open, right? Before even the open, and again, combine that with, I didn't think it was that great of a news to really drag it down 21 points, but more important, it was more a safety issue. And the technical reason, again, there was a technical reason as well. If you look at Netflix, okay, if you look at Netflix on the daily chart, the reason why I put 89.75, that was the low. You guys see that? This was the low of the previous two candles on the daily chart, okay? On the daily chart, it was 89, uh, here it is, 89, uh, excuse me, it was 90.05 and uh, 289.78, right? So you, you had at least a daily chart confirmation with uh, a sympathy play to Roku and you had a lot of really, really aggressive session. And again, that that is why the difference, that is why the difference between me not putting Roku uh, on the feed versus, uh, versus Netflix. So again, I'm always thinking safety first to you guys. I'm always trying to put you in the most risk defined trade instead of the sexy trade. And again, raise your hand who wanted a short note Roku down twelve dollars, right? Raise your hand. Again, it's just one of those things you can't prepare for a twenty point move on a hundred forty dollars stock without any materialistic fact for that specific company. Again, why didn't they take down Netflix down twenty five, right? Why was only Netflix down eight? Netflix down eight on on a normal day that the market sells down one hundred fifty points. So again, you cannot prepare for the five run home run. Just absolutely incredible, and that was the reason. Again, that was the reason why. I didn't put it on the feed. I just wanted to make sure uh, it was uh, safety first. Again, it's not the sexy. It's all about the substance. And for me, at least for me, I couldn't possibly put you guys in a situation that you're shorting uh, stock pre-market on, on, in my opinion, not even phenomenal aggressive news because everybody's in the stream. So what is that, what's going to happen 
what's going to happen when uh, you know what's going to happen when uh, NBC Universal comes out? Well, we're doing streaming as well. They're going to take these things down twenty dollars every single time that there's a headline. So it just didn't make sense. I, what, what I didn't like about today, number one, was a Fed day. I hate Fed days. Okay, I absolutely hate Fed days because again, it's not order. You know, it's not orderly and balanced order flow. It's very very aggressive. What I also didn't like about today's open. Forget about the fact that Roku. Forget about the fact that Netflix. Netflix happened after. What I didn't like about the open, if you looked at the early pivots, right? If you look at the early pivots, and this is how we always gauge, right? This is how we always gauge um, value, right? How many times, guys, do you really see me put Alibaba and Facebook? Leading off at Alibaba and Facebook, okay? Everything was in the middle of the channels. Uh, the Teslas of the world, which, which, by the way, there was a really nice, I forgot to put the Twitter, I put, forgot to put it in the Twitter feed, that 170, uh, that 270, 245 pivot uh, that we had in the in the in the webinar, but you, you can see how many days do you see me put lead off with Alibaba and Facebook again? Although you know Alibaba did did well, uh, Alibaba did well, and Tesla did well today. There was very limited value, and that was the downside of the day. What I like to see, what I like to see going happen tomorrow is I want to see the potential for expanding channels. I think we can have that, and I, and I I always say this, and I had this whole big. Uh, conversation today with a lot of people in the live webinar. If you're a new trader, you want to trade, you literally want to trade expanding channels. You don't want to trade the days that you're stuck in a 50 cent channel. You're going to churn your account. Any option trade that you're going to put on, you're going to, it's going to go to zero. I mean, it's not going to go to zero, but it's going to completely destroy your trade. There's not enough movement. You need expanded channels. And if everything works out tomorrow, we have a pretty decent day of expand the channels. So let's get into uh, let's get into uh, the ideas for uh, tomorrow's session. Okay, let's get into ideas for tomorrow's session and see exactly where we Congratulations are. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.